this march in the downtown Lima. It's called the takeover of Lima. Protesters have come from all over Peru to the capital and here they're marching down the main road in the downtown area of the capital towards the Congress building where they're demanding that the Congress be closed. They're also demanding the resignation of President Tino Bonaparte and fresh elections. These people have come from southern Andes, they've come from Puno, Cusco, Apurimac and many other regions which have been the worst affected by the violence of the last six weeks in the country. More than 50 protests, more than 50 civilians have died in six weeks of, pro, of unrest since President, Pre, the former President Pedro Castillo announced he was going to dissolve Congress and rule by decree and was ousted from office and has since been charged with conspiracy and rebellion. But the focus of the protest is now much more on the resignation of Dina Boluarte. They say that she is politically responsible for the deaths that have occurred in clashes with the police and security forces. Clashes which many uh, human rights groups and even the United Nations have said involve the disproportionate use of force by the Peruvian security forces. The people here are saying they want justice. They're saying Dina is a murderer. That's one of the chants they're using here. And they say that they won't stop marching until she steps down. Dan Collins, CGTN. Lima.